Hi stationary friends. Welcome to Ginger Peachy Pens. My name is Sarah and today I want to share with you a new pen that I just received from um, a new shop that I had not heard of before called Foster Tool Works. Um, I'll be honest, I was drawn to the name because Foster is a family name. Um, it's not my last name, but it's in my family. And in fact, my mom for briefly considered naming me Foster as my first name. Um, but anyway, that's what drew me to just look at the shop. And, um, I was just hunting around Etsy looking at, um, you know, handmade fountain pens by independent makers and, and, um, and came across this and it was so interesting so I just um, ended up <laughs> getting it to, to try it out um, and I want to share it with you so let's get into this box um, I think this box is really neat because it looks like he hand cut out the box um, it's got kind of rough edges and like a pen mark here like it was just marked out and um, yeah I just think this is it's fun that uh, someone cut out this box, you know, from probably a bigger box. So he included a note, which um, you may have read, but I'm going to surprise you with what's special about this pen. And if you hear my doggy squeaking his toy, I apologize. Here is this beautiful pen. It is this bright um, cyan turquoise color. And um, it has this copper running throughout, um, kind of a shimmer material, um, some really beautiful chatoyants. Um, it's a lot redder right there. I'm sure you can see that. Um, and it's a, a cigar shaped pen, as you can see. This material is called Fire and Ice. Um, it's a, a Lumalite material by Lumber Gems Studios. So, um, but this was made by Foster Toolworks. His name is Roger Foster. And so, let's see, open it up. Um, it comes with a number six Chovo nib. So, um, capped, this pen is five and a half inches long. Um, uncapped from the tip of the nib to the end of the barrel is five and a quarter inches. And um, the nib, what is, what is the nib section pinch width, which is a term I had not heard before, but um, is what he used to describe the, the pinch, the width right here. I thought pinch width, if that makes sense, is 9.5 millimeters. So if you're the kind of person who needs to know that, <laughs> nine and a half millimeters. Um, and yeah, I think this is just really beautiful. It's very special. Um, the threads are really smooth. Um, let's see if we can see how many turns it takes to open it. I'm going to use that red spot. One, two, right at three. Um, he said it was triple threaded, so it's really easy to, to put that cap on and off. And then here's what's really special about this pen. It also comes with a roller ball refill. So, let me pull everything out of the bag here. So, open it up. It has a converter, but if you, I can actually keep all this together. I'm going to think about it for a second. It comes with this Beaufort um, roller ball, which I don't know a lot about this brand or anything, whether it's a, you know, great refill or not. I don't know, but... You just pop that in here, put this, he sent this little spring that goes in the back, I guess, to keep the, um, the roller ball pushed forward and just screw it right on. This, this, uh, section, this roller ball section is black ebonite and you have a roller ball pin. So if for some reason, you know, I'm going somewhere and don't want to take a fountain pen, but still want something special. I think this is a good option. And I don't know if there might be some other refills that would fit in here or not. Um, let's see. Beaufort. Yeah, it works fairly well. Rollerball is honestly not my favorite um, 
I would rather a ballpoint. So I may, ex I may experiment and see if there are some ballpoint refills that would fit in here. But, um, yeah, I thought this was really neat. I think, um, I could have just purchased it as a fountain pen, but I think it was only $10, um, or around $10, maybe $15 to add the rollerball option. And, you know, I just thought, how unique is that? He actually said the spring could stay in there, but I'm afraid I would lose the spring taking, uh, in and out the, you know, whenever I ink the pen at some point, I'm just going to send that spring flying. Um, so I could see my poor sweet doggy laying over here. He had his teeth cleaned today and he looks just a little bit drunk. <laughs> poor sweet baby. But he's doing fine. The dentist said his teeth were all good. For a seven-year-old dog, she was kind of surprised how good his teeth looked. So let's ink up this pen and see how the nib writes. It is just a, like I said, a number six uh, jo Jovo nib. Oh, I'll show you this note. Thank you for your purchase. I hope you'll enjoy your new pen as much as I enjoy making them. Don't forget to drop the spring in the pen body when using the rollerball cartridge. I don't think the spring will have an effect on the, the ink converter. You can probably leave the spring in all the time, Roger. <laughs> so... Nice friendly little note on some old paper. Can you see the like yellowing around the edges of this paper? <laughs> I'm curious about this paper. I'm gonna put this in this bag, keep it all together. Oh, and he did send an ink cartridge as well, but I'm gonna put my own ink in here. So let's choose a color. To our, let me see my new ones. I've been keeping my new colors, my new inks, back in the back here. At some point, I'm going to have to go through and uh, sort them <laughs> into um, sort them into where they belong. But it's kind of nice to have all the new ones together so I can say, hey, I want to try a new ink today. Something like this might be good. These Some of these Birmingham pen um, inks have sort of a, a copper sheen, which I think would be cool to have like a teal ink with a copper sheen to go in this teal pen. Fountain turquoise is too green. Too green. Do y'all remember that moment in Mary Poppins where the, she's reading um, Goldilocks? Here we go, Birmingham Pen Co. Pennsylvania Slate. It is darker than the pen material, but I think it's a similar blue. And it's got a little bit of red sheen over there, which I think if it comes through in the ink on certain papers would be a nice match. So let's try that out. Anyway, when Mary Poppins is reading uh, The Three Bears, The Three Bears, and the little girl's reading and she's yawning and she's saying, too, too small, too small, too small. So sometimes when I'm saying too big, too small, I want to say it like that little girl. <laughs> okay, I'm looking for Pennsylvania Slate. These are inks that I received from a friend, um, from Robin, from Talks from the Heart. And um, I'm going to share them all with you at some point, but it's going to be quite the quite the ink swatching project. Let's see, I'm looking for Pennsylvania Slate. I'm sorry, I should have maybe paused the video, but hey, we're all here together. I tried to stand these all up in this. <laughs> I tried to stand these up in this. Uh, if you're reading these quickly, you're getting a preview. Watch, it's going to be in the, it is in the first row. Right there. If I had looked in the front of the container, I would have found it. Kind of getting a preview of those inks. So let me know if you want to see um, swatches of all of those. Most of them are Birmingham Pen Company inks. And then I think there are three, four that are not Birmingham Pen Co. Um, I had never tried any Birmingham Pen Co. ink except for one. That was also a gift from a friend that I have swatched but never used yet. Um, so when, when, uh, Robin heard that, she said, okay, well, I'm going to send you some. <laughs> and she sent me a bunch. So, uh, all right, let's ink this up. Am I getting anything? 
Yeah, there we go. Perfect, actually. Y'all know I don't usually do a full fill, so that's a medium fill. Oh, I don't use this one. And we will quickly test this nib out. All right. Even though that ink is in the ink pet, I still get nervous that I'm gonna knock it over. So let's get it capped. And all right. Let me get something to write on. You can tell I prepared a lot for this video. All right, here we are. Again, if anybody is bothered by this um, back page of ink swatches, I'm sorry, but I've told you before I don't waste pages. So this is a not writing pen yet. Let's see if we can get the ink to start moving. may have just um you know put put it put, put 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 the towel on it a little too much all right this is a foster toolworks um i actually don't know if there's a name if he has a name for this pen body style but um we will just say it is fire and ice alumalite by Lumber Gym Studios. And this is a medium Jovo nib steel. Just a regular old medium, y'all know. Oh, I completely fibbed. I got a fine, <laughs> look at me, got it, getting a fine nib. <laughs> So here's that ink. I don't know. I hope you can see it. Well, I really need some help with my lighting around here. Um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty good match there. Um, this nib seems smooth. I'll have to try it out on some other papers. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a smooth standard Jovo nib and the ink seems to be flowing well once I got it going. Um, this pen feels comfortable to me. The grip section feels um, comfortable. It's on the thin side, but I don't think it's too thin. Um, I've had some that are a little bit thinner, I think. And the threads do not feel sharp. There is a sharper corner step here, but even that does not feel like it would bother me unless I, you know, just if I, if I put it maybe on that, callus on my middle finger maybe but no I don't think that's gonna be any kind of problem it's very lightweight this pen just feels like it weighs almost nothing so anyway there is this beautiful new pen I wanted to share with you I will link um, the foster toolworks shop down below he has got a lot of different kinds of things um, so go check him out because yeah he had a lot of different um, some kit pens and some things like that as well, I believe. So um, go check them out and see what you think. Give them some love. Tell them I sent you. And um, anyway, I thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you for helping me reach a thousand subscribers recently. And um, yeah, there it is. So let's see. Let's pull in the All right, so thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.